you know? Yeah. So your customers will say, wow, that product has this, and that product has these kind of ingredients. What does the other people do? Well, we're not really sure. Maybe now that you have the information, maybe you should go there and ask them how they do their products. Because we know what's going to happen. We're going to say, I don't know. Because like us, they hire young kids, but they don't mentor them, they don't train them, they don't educate them, and even more importantly, they don't instill a sense of pride in the place they work and the product right. they're serving. You may, I mentioned that. You mentioned why are your kids, you mentioned a little bit about that, but it's also the process. Why are your teenage workers just they're better than many adults? I see at uh, retail locations. How, how are they? How do you pick such good people? How do you train them so well? And well, why, we why pick, are they so good? We pick bad ones as well, like everyone else. You know, you know, everyone's perfect on the resume, right? Uh, it's within the first thirty days we can get a sense of their ability to catch on, their desire to want to work. Um, we give them financial incentives to learn, uh, as well as. Believe it or not, we give them financial incentives to change our process because we believe in continual improvement. We also believe that empowers young people to feel like they can make a difference. But during the interview process, a lot of our questions have to do with their family and their upbringing and their lifestyle at home. We're very structured, we're very strict. If they come from a household like that, they find it comfortable. If they don't come from a household like that, they find it very taxing, and they don't like it. So, you know, it gives us an idea of what they're used to at home. Yeah. If they, if the parents have not given them any sense of responsibility, right, or uh, any sense of um, achievement, then they don't have that in the workplace. So we look for that in the young kids. Actually, the funny thing about it is we found over the years, we always wanted to hire older kids. When they're 18 years old, it's their first job. Oftentimes, it's their parents saying, you're 18 years old, give yourself a job. And they come in here and they don't really want to be here. So they have this attitude like they don't want to be here and it kind of brings everyone down. On the other hand, we hire 14 and 15 year old kids. And if you're that age and you're working, it's because you begged your parents to let you work. Right? They come in here, um, they want to do good, they are excited to be working, they're excited to make money at that age because none of their friends are. And um, when you're 14, it's really cool to hang out with kids that are 16 and 17, which is the rest of our staff. So they feel like they're learning more and you know they're becoming more mature. And I found, even though I went through years of college, I think you learn more in the workforce as a young kid than you do in school. In school they teach you books and they feed you with knowledge, but they don't teach you life skills. And it's really missing, especially at the high school level. So we try to fill that gap by teaching life skills. Um, something as simple as counting money, many of the people that we interview cannot count money. Because they have an ATM card or they pay with their phone, they've never handled cash. And I'm an old guy, and I say, well, don't you play Monopoly? And so I went to the toy store, and Monopoly is actually an ATM card now. You have to get Monopoly Classic if you want the old school paper money. Um, and I shake my head because I remember so, so strongly how that taught me how to negotiate, how to count money, how to manage my money, and how to see if I'm running low, and, you know, and that's been lost um, in, in the, um, I guess, the tightening of games to an electronic format, um, which the kids enjoy, but I also believe that, you know, playing with the cell phone and is also killing the imagination of our kids, as well as young adults.